Hi there, Jenny Marples here, welcoming you to my YouTube channel. So I'm here to share my current project for the challenge blog, A Vintage Journey. This coming month we're going to be celebrating the magic of three and we are sponsored this month by Emerald Creek Craft Supplies. So I hope you can check out the link below and see what my fabulous fellow creative guides have been up to in the celebration of all things three. I've made three traveller notebook Midori sized uh, journal inserts and wanted to share those with you. They're all vintage style. They've all been heavily influenced by some fabulous YouTubers, Beth Wallen, Amity Bloom, Tiffy Butter. There's any number of others and also by the work of people like Nick the Booksmith as well. Let me start by showing you the first insert and then I can take you through the other two which are basically a repeating design just using slightly different papers and a couple of different inserts. So the first one, um, I've used the Memoranda paper by Tim Holtz, fabulous new paper, really love the design, it really suits this kind of insert and you'll see there's a lot of his, um, there's a lot of stitching going on but a lot of his ephemera both old and new all the way through. Um, tag in here which I've actually stenciled into a little tuck spot. You'll also notice all the way through there's these paper dolls that I've used. Um, again they add some real vintage charm and they are all the rage at the moment, they really are. Also, all the way through, I've used my own dyed papers. So this is copy of paper which has been dyed, but I've used an aqua colour rather than going for the traditional tea stain because of the colour of the actual cover, which I'll come to shortly. So you'll also see here that I have a tuck spot included here with some of the ephemera. And there's also a little pocket there. And all of the ephemera that I've included has actually got a blank spot on the back so that it can be used for journaling. I've got some vintage gardening encyclopedia with a translucent, um, it's a tissue wrap uh, pocket there. And some of the pages are actually designed to fold out so that even more journaling can be included. There's some stamping that's been done on the graph paper, uh, but I've kept that quite light so that people can write over it. Vintage postcard and some um, actual music score, um, which is beautiful stuff, vintage um, came from a lovely lady and I've got here a little photo mat using the design papers uh, which has been made out of a pocket for a little envelope there. You'll notice there's uh, quite a bit of stuff that's to do with posting and journeys and then also all of these different vintage characters. The idea being that this is kind of like a journey um, traveller notebook so celebrating journeys through time and journeys across continents that kind of thing and one of the journeys that we very often launch ourselves on is a wedding and I've included one of the tags that I've made and shown previously on my blog um, you can see on here I've kept the reverse blank so that it can be used for journaling details of all of that are on my blog and moving on, we've got a flip page there, which is great because it's got the craft glassine look to it. But then it's also got a little place to add um, some ephemera in there, a, a photo mat maybe. And in the centre pages, they actually extend to the full width of um, an A4 piece of paper. And you'll see I've actually hand stitched all of the the inserts with wax thread as well to keep them secure. Another of those vintage postcards in a little pocket. I haven't included something in every single pocket that I've made the whole way along because I figure you guys are going to have stuff that you'd want to include yourselves in them as well. So plenty of room here for adding little pieces of ephemera, tickets, photos, um, that kind of thing. And also some more of these cards as we go along so that uh, notes can be made about the contents. Again some more of that music score and more pockets, more flip outs, plenty of note taking space. Love this one at the back here, this is a, a flip up um, so you can see there plenty of place to add pictures and also one of these film strips, again a Tim Holtz 
one that's actually blank on the reverse so that you can even write on there. But again, if you want to add something into that pocket of your own, you can do. Another pocket here, another flip out, and at the back, another place for either journaling or a photo mat into a pocket. And that's the cover of the first. Moving on then, we've got exactly the same pattern repeated for the second and for the third, since it's the magic of three. It also helps because these kinds of projects can be quite um, time consuming in the sense that you've got to think about where you want to put things and whereabouts you want to include pages and different designs of pages. It's quite a useful thing if you're making a whole journal just to repeat two or three times, however many you'd want. So just including the photo mat there um, and just repeat the whole process so you've not got to think too much about that element and then you can concentrate on the design. Here's another one of those tags I made just um, in looking at childhood and a bit more of a fantasy style theme to it and another of those flip out pages again with the photo map and the little tuck spot there. The central pages all of the pages have actually been edged using the Vintage Photo Distress Oxide. I love that stuff because it gives a real soft, uh, muted look to the edges of the paper. And these have all been tea stained, all of the graph paper. Another tuck spot there, all stitched so that they will stay in place. There's not just glue. And another piece of ephemera at the back there. And another tuck spot more pages and flips and another of those pockets with the flip ups there and finally towards the back another pocket another extending page and another one of those uh, little tuck spots towards the back and then the final one you'll be familiar with the format now so again another tag just flipping through great little pocket there Another tuck spot, more fold outs, more graph, more postcards, more pockets with little photo mats in there. Another flip. This particular tag is the final in the series of three, celebrating childhood but also childhood education. It's quite an important thing, something that's dear to my heart. So I kind of figured that was quite an important part of our journey along the way of life. So I'd include that in there. Another flip there and the central pages and again the postcards, tuck spots, little pocket again, more ephemera um, that's all been dyed as well, some stamping. You'll notice all the way through that I've actually used some of this um, design tape that's come from Tim Holtz as well and actually I've used strips of or little portions of three of the design tapes on each of the pages. So again it's that three repetition. Um, things look better in threes I think. And there we go, the three photos as well. So really celebrating that. Another pocket and our final flip out page and a final mat and tuck spot at the back. Now these are great, um, really enjoyed making them but I also wanted to make them very secure um, and the finishing touch has been really come about through the launch of Eileen Hull Design's new journal die uh, which has created the absolute perfect cover. Um, I've been sneak peeking this on Instagram and on my Facebook page for a couple of weeks now and you'll see it's the ideal size for tucking those in. I'll explain a little bit more about the die first and then we'll take you back to the the journal. Now the journal die itself is a Biggs XL die that comes from Sizzix. I was lucky enough to be able to be demoing this at the Creativation Show back in the US um, at the beginning of January. Uh, it's a Biggs XL die which means basically that it will cut um, your thick card, this is matte board, um, it will also cut fabrics and felts and pretty much anything that you want to put through it because it's a proper steel rule die. So Really, your imagination is the limit of your creativity with these. 
you get one of the covers you get um, one of these little plaques that you can use on the front of your cover you also get the little tags that actually will crease and fold and you also get these closures as well again which have the creases all inside so everything comes for you within the die um, all I did was cut out two of the covers you'll see they're even creased in the center and I um, they've actually got the holes also included so that you can thread thread elastic whatever it is you want to include and also the tie for the middle and all of these creases that once you've glued down the center spine with a really strong adhesive and you've then decorated however you want to with fabric with mixed media um, you can then um, use that and crease it and it holds the uh, inserts beautifully the journal itself is eight and three quarters by four and three quarters and the inserts as I said before um, eight and a quarter by four and a quarter so pretty much the standard size so just to take you through the con the journal itself inside you'll see I've actually used the ephemera again Tim Holtz was kind enough to give me some ephemera that I was able to use during the show um, layered that onto the flat surface and then covered with some um, distress paint added some pockets bit of stamping another couple of those paper dolls you'll also see I've tied in the elastics here I've uh, gone for some really strong closures on this one to hold these substantial inserts in but as I said you can use ribbon you can use thinner elastic thread whatever else you want to and on the cover again the ephemera is there but it's also hidden by a layer of translucent uh, paste from Ranger um, which I've put through a layering stencil and then used that as a result exist um, I was lucky enough to be credited with this particular technique by Tim Holtz in his Creative Chemistry 103 course online course which I can highly recommend so thank you for that Tim um, ephemera included on the outside and you'll see again that power of three with the uh, man and wife and, and their little pet dog and you'll see how easy it is to take those beautiful inserts that you've made and then be able to once you've journaled in them added ephemera into them you can easily slip them inside those elastics in the same way that you would with a regular Midori only with this one you've actually custom colored it um, and designed it to match your insert so it's kind of like um, an addition and um, an upscale really for inserts which uh, I'm really enjoying working with here so you'll see easily slip in and they're very very secure um, if you actually have too much in your journal you can always remove one of those inserts as well again the flexibility is down to you because it's your journal cover and easily enough to to tie I've got some ribbon to wrap around the outside I will just mention the extender um, closure here I took two of those um, extender panels there and actually chopped one off added them to each other and then made it thicker because I knew the contents of my journal were going to be so more substantial I should say just tie that piece of ribbon around the outside tie it together I've already attached some um, some charms on there a little dog um, little tag and a little heart um, just things to embellish Again, that kind of thing is entirely down to your preference, what you would prefer to include on the front of your die. So just tying that all in there, watching those little charms come through there. Love that little dog. That's uh, one of the new releases from, from uh, this January. So that's it, the completed journal. I hope you've enjoyed looking through. Um, so make sure you check out the A Vintage Journal Challenge. Again, link below. And also keep your eyes peeled for more on this journal die that comes out from Eileen Hull uh, later this month. It's actually already available to pre-order from, if you're in the States, the Funky Junkie Boutique. And if you're in the UK from uh, Sir Stampalot and also from Country View Crafts. The design team for Eileen Hull will in fact be sharing a number of journals that they've made. So you'll get to see lots of other different designs and ideas. Um, so I hope you can make sure and keep your eyes peeled for those okay thanks for watching please make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel because there will be lots more coming sharing my uh 
sharing my different projects on here so you can see them. And I'll also make sure that I include those photos on my blog, pushingtherightbuttons.blogspot.com. Okay, thank you for joining me.